Greetings from Halls Harbor, Nova Scotia. We are Damien Sky, and in this video, we're going to be staying and exploring this authentic fishing village. Located along the famous shores of the Bay of Fundy, this small community is a treat to visit and experience. You can witness the powerful tides rise and lower the boats in the harbor, walk the picturesque boardwalk or shore, dine at the newly renovated Lobster Pound restaurant, hike nearby trails to jaw dropping views, or simply relax in a seaside accommodation. Speaking about accommodations, this is where we are going to be staying during this trip it is the Halls Harbor Boathouse Cottage. It is so nice. It actually just started raining out though. So we're gonna do this tour inside. As soon as we got here, we flew the drone and then we were about to do the little tour and it's pouring buckets out right now, but it's really cozy inside. So this is our boathouse cottage and it is charming beyond words. Come in. I feel like we've been whisked away on some like seaside whimsical dream location. So coming in here, this is a restored and renovated cottage that was one of the original cottages here in Halls Harbor. And Halls Harbor was settled back in the 1700s by Captain Hall and his privateers. So it has a lot of history here too and it's so nice that they've restored it. There is hand-hewn beams. Had to look up what hand-hewn meant. <laughs> it, it means that these beams were created by hand so they were like chiseled down um, by hand with like an axe. Um, and there is wide pine planked flooring coming over here. So there's a little sitting area here, first of all. And then there's these beautiful leather chairs to stay cozy by the fire. Speaking of fire, there is a wood stove here. So can't wait to have that on shortly because there's definitely a chill in the air with all this rain. Over here, lots of like nautical themed things, really high ceilings when you're sitting in the bed and you're looking up. So, so nice. I love all of the beams. I wish we could have beams in our house. Look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. Oh, also bed test, 100 out of 10. Very cozy. <laughs> I really like this. I don't know. It just seems when you open it, there's like that old like antique woody like smell. I, I don't know. There's just like a smell and feeling that comes with this piece that I, I really liked when I, because I'm nosy. I open, I'm the type of person that checks in somewhere and opens all of the doors. I'm like, what's in here? This is the bathroom. Super quaint and cozy. Stand up shower over here. And again, nautical theme beyond. There is some fishing boat painting here. The bathroom curtains have little seagulls on them. I love that. Oh. It's just so charming. It's a full kitchen too, so you can cook in a big fridge and freezer. All of your dishes and everything are in here. And a little uh, stove there, coffee maker, toaster, everything that you need. And we have our own private deck as well as a hot tub too that we're going to be enjoying while we're here as well. So if you wanna stay here, we can put the link in the description. There's also three other spots on the property you can stay. You can book the whole place out for like a wedding or a reunion or just book one of them. Good morning. We've kind of just been goofing around in this boathouse this morning. This is what we're up to. <laughs> we're trying to take a photo from behind us of us sitting watching the fire with the ocean. It's, it's, I, I think it's and gonna the work. Because the chandelier is gorgeous too. <laughs> so David was like, what if we could like put the tripod upside down on the beams and yeah. We're gonna try it. It is a beautiful day out. This is the staircase right beside us here that all of the accommodations that we were staying, they have private access to, to get down to the beach, which is pretty cool. 
Um, we're gonna go down to the actual like dock area though and hopefully set up a GoPro for a time lapse of the tide coming in. We're not sure if it'll work out. <laughs> we're just kind of hiding our GoPro in this little power boxy area. Hopefully nobody steals it. This is so sketchy. I'd be so happy. It's like a shot list. I don't know. It's been done. And you can like look up Nova Scotia webcams and see the time lapse of the boats rising and falling. But like to get our own shot of it was what I really wanted. And it's a blue sky day and it's beautiful and I'm really excited. So that up there is where we're staying. And then apparently this way, according to Google Maps, there might be a cave. Hull's Harbor Cave. We'll see if we can find it. Because we are along the Bay of Fundy, one thing to note when you're visiting Halls Harbor and planning your adventures around the area is that you have to plan around the tide times. So you can look those up online, even the Lobster Pound has them available on their website. Because uh, we wouldn't be able to walk like on this beach all the way down it because the tide comes right up. And there's these big cliffs here too. And yeah, it's just really cool to see how far the tide comes in and goes out. These cliffs are so big. I don't think we're finding a cave. Unless we passed it. Might be back there on the other side of Hall's Harbor, by the falls. Google lied to us. Yeah, we needed a walk and it's pretty. There we go. Uh, race idea. I will race you to the lobster pound. And then first person to get there without breaking their ankle over all these rocks wins. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. What do we win? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to go in there. I am scared of it. You're scared of it? Little baby cave over there. Next stop is uh, Baxter's Harbor Waterfall, which you just park right there and the waterfall is right there. You have to come at low tide or otherwise this will just all be water. This is so cool! Skylar was just standing on that rock there 30 seconds ago. And it's now underwater. You guys are all wet. <laughs> nice. That's a nice lighthouse. Hi. 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 We just stopped at Black Rock Lighthouse. Um, we're talking in the car because it's very windy here. It's so windy outside today. Yeah. Like we are nervous about our GoPro back at Hulls Harbor. That's all we can think about all day. We're like, <gasps> yeah, we spoke to, uh, we spoke to Tim and then he was like the guy that, um, owns the, uh, owns the boathouse. Yeah. And, and he was like, oh yeah, our, the barbecues blew away one time. So now we're like, oh geez. <laughs> <laughs> it gets very, very windy along this coast. Anyways, we are at Black Light, a Black Rock Lighthouse and it's about a 15 minute drive from Hulls Harbor. So we wanted to check it out just cause it's a unique looking lighthouse and we were used to visiting and yeah, it's, it's really pretty. Cool spot. It's like 10.4 meters tall, so it's almost as tall as David. And um, nicely painted, I find. I don't know, <laughs> it looks, David thinks that's such a weird comment to make. But like- Nicely painted. I don't know. So many lighthouses around Nova Scotia are weathered and like worn down because of the, all of the weather that they face. Whereas this one looks like pretty freshly painted. I don't know, that's what, also what I read online too, is that they take very good care of the lighthouse. All right, next stop, let's go. Next up. Another thing we actually forgot to mention was like, how do you climb it? Because... It says spy cam. Oh, spy. Spy cam. Hello. <gasps> Echo. Hello. What if something said hello back? Came to check on her baby. She's still doing good. <laughs> oh my goodness. The tide's all the way in now. 
It's crazy. A five minute drive away from where we are staying in Halls Harbor is this location in Huntington Point and they are known for their fairy cottages. So there are currently four fairy cottages. There used to be five and they were built by Charles McDonald back in 1930s. So like during the Great Depression and he had a concrete factory in Kenfield and he, I believe he started that in like the early 1900s and then he got his workers to come here because his him and his family loved to camp here and they built five concrete cottages. Um, he really believed in concrete and he also infused them with iron and driftwood and then painted them with all of these dreamy whimsical colors. So this is one of them behind me then there's three more and there was a fifth one that was shaped like a teapot but eventually it fell to ruin and they ended up bulldozing it into the ocean. You can come here and visit. It is private though so you can't actually stay and some people will live in them so definitely be respectful and I believe that there's a way to donate while you're here or donate online. There's a nice little beach here as well that you can check out and have a picnic. And you can see Cave Split. We're gonna be going there tomorrow. Hi. Hi. Halls Harbor Lobster Pound. It us. <laughs> <laughs> Not Nova Scotia. That was the last time we were here. This is Halls Harbor Lobster Pound. It's a very short walk from where we're staying and it's where we're gonna get lobster dinner. I think, well, they have a big lobster menu because they're also a working lobster pound and they sell lobster, like whole lobster out of here too. So you can go in, view their gift shop, buy some whole lobster or eat in the restaurant. And the restaurant has been newly renovated in the past couple of years, but it's insane. Like you can eat on different levels. You can eat up on the deck and get a view of the Bay of Fundy. It's neat. I'm also very hungry. Lobster bisque is what's on special. That's the special? Yeah, it's a soup. Whoa, 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 Sorry. Get the door. Sorry, sorry, do you think they take down Hunter dollars? Just kidding. <laughs> Can we get matching socks? Like, what if we got matching socks? Or, these ones are $10. Are these darn tough? No. Okay, so the lobster pan usually opens Mother's Day weekend. We are here the weekend before Mother's Day weekend, but they decided to open early this year, which worked in our favor miraculously and just their lower dining room is open during the weekdays right now so we can't show you up or maybe we can maybe we'll go for a wander before we leave um so we're eating in their lower dining room beautiful view over the harbor and i ordered a lobster roll and fries normally they wouldn't give lobster bibs for those but i asked her to because i just really wanted to wear one and this is my lobster bib fish and chips and lobster roll and our coleslaws are served on a shell how neat is that? I'm very happy. This is my first lobster roll since lobster crawl. I was gonna since say February. since February. <laughs> it's been a dry two months. <laughs> Dinner was lovely. We really enjoyed our meals. David's fish and chips were super good because they weren't too battered. So it's like the type of fish and chips that you can eat and not feel too sluggish afterwards. My lobster roll was really good too and the whole atmosphere was really nice. It's kind of nice visiting the shoulder seasons because there isn't a lot of people there. It's definitely one of those spots that gets super busy in the summertime but right now they aren't too busy in May during the weekdays so can recommend. Now we're just taking a stroll along the wharf I suppose. Along the wharf. Waiting for the, the water to fully leave before we pick up our GoPro. It's still there, hopefully still going. The dogs are not here right now, but watch this. Indy. Stop. <laughs> 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 this is what happens when we have one beer. We haven't been drinking lately. I thought Indy was just about to jump off the wharf. <laughs> but then I remember Indy doesn't jump off wharfs. Oh and God. she's not even with us right now. <laughs> The GoPro is still there, but did it turn off in the cold today or did it just not work? Whoa! <laughs> nice. Oh my god, I'm so happy! <laughs> it's like. That's so cool! Because, like, who's gonna actually stand there? for that many hours and witness those tides. Like, sure, you can get, I don't know. It's just so cool that we captured it. Oh my goodness.
you have a good day? I had a great day. There's no wind now. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's much warmer. The, not being any wind. Not being any wind. <laughs> it really helps. The wind kind of uh, made us very sleepy today. We we're getting cold and everything very quickly. We are one of the few guests staying on the property tonight, so we're gonna give you a little tour around some of the other accommodations. This is the barn. It is so lovely. You walk in and there's this big kitchen area. Fabulous. Sweet Jenny's Gourmet Treats. I don't know, there's definitely a story behind that. So there's a bed upstairs and then there's a bed down here. And this is so freaking gorgeous. Holy smokes. Just the lighting, like A plus 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 for the lighting in here. And this is the balcony, so you can sleep here, the little hangout area here, and you look over. Oh my goodness, can you imagine having a fire going and just listening to the waves? They also have a deck down there that has their own hot tub and a bathroom too. Next up we are in the Harbor House. Gotta do this really quickly because it's sunset time. We gotta go jump in the hot tub for sunset. This is the Harbor House. Big, beautiful kitchen. You walk in. Brick. <laughs> Bathroom. Hang on, you went too fast. Ah, I don't care. Dining room. <laughs> oh wait, there you go. Dining room so you can see it. Whoa. Come through here. Whole separate living room. Oh, a bad bedroom that says, happy place. Ooh, I love that. Big, beautiful living room. It's like a little study, like a little, little reading study. Ooh, look at these stairs. Wow. Okay, sorry, keep on going with the tour. Another bedroom, another bathroom. Another bedroom, skylight, gorgeous. <laughs> Just to mock us for the sunset. Oh, this is beautiful, look at those hand-hewn beams. Another bedroom. Very kiddish, love it. It's not even that kiddish. I was, anybody can sleep in that. <gasps> this is amazing. Is that all of them? That's yeah. it, man. Oh my goodness, I'm getting dizzy <laughs> showing everything. <laughs> and that is the beach house. We're not going in that one just because it's not done up yet, but that's the beach house, a studio uh, cabin, just like ours with its own hot tub as well. This is a 10 out of 10 hot tub experience. It's so nice. This sunset is, it's incredible. <laughs> nice. The ocean's right there and the hot tub Bye. Bye. We're checking out of here. Sad to leave. We love this place. Sunset was just mint. It was so good. Now we're gonna go do a big hike. I wish I lived here. Like it's just so like it's just a little seaside charm is exactly what it is and I can see it being a very romantic spot for a getaway or if like you're a solo traveler and just need an escape or if you're a large crew and you have a big family you can just rent out the whole property and like you and like you could have one cottage and then the rest of your family could have the other house or something like they just have different options and having the hot tubs yeah. like so smart nice any accommodations tubs. that get hot tubs and not like a shared hot tub like a their own hot tub just the fact that each spot on the property has their own private hot tub is perfect make sure we're not leaving your phone this time oh my god that was the first time i've ever done that on our way here uh the other day i left my phone at home and we got all the way to like orange or like orange will turn off the lot like 10, pretty far 10 minutes away from home I had to go back. Dave's not gonna let me live it down. Falls Harbor Post Office. I mean, you're yeah, right. Actually, the post office. That's what it says. Here's the 
Okay. See you later. Hi, Hans Arbor. Love ya. Love ya, Han. <laughs> oh, look at that truck. Looking good. Oh. Taking advantage of this super nice weather and being in this area and before we head home we're going to be doing the Cape Split look off trail so it's this big beautiful piece of land we could actually see it wildly enough from where we were staying it was just like super far in the distance um, but this is it here we have taken this trail before a million years ago back in like 2015 when we first met but now we're gonna also take this newer trail This is Big Cove look off one and then we like go up and then around and I believe there's Big Cove look off two over there somewhere. Hey guys, look at this tree. Hey. Looks like a horse. Woo! Made it. It's uber windy. We're just making it out now. That was about just over four hours and 15 kilometers later. Plan around a windless day if you want to experience Cape Split and all its glory and not feel like you might get swept away by the wind. <laughs> it was really windy up there. It was super there. windy out there. Oh, we're gonna head home now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we've inspired you to uh, explore Halls Harbor, explore this whole coastline here in Nova Scotia and stay at the Harbor House and all of its lovely accommodation options. We had truly a great stay and a great few days exploring around the area. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.